To start the Biden administration hitting the road again today to sell its infrastructure plan to the American people. President Biden will travel to Philadelphia and Vice President Kamala Harris to Cincinnati. Joined this morning once again by our Washington correspondent, Jesse Tenor. Jesse, good morning. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough sell, but how does the president plan to get Republicans on board with this new bill? Yeah, good morning. The president is continuing conversations with Republicans on the Senate side, which will be the trickier side for the president. He has been chatting with um, Senator Capito. She has been the one leading the effort, and they had a conversation on the phone yesterday that both sides says went well, but it doesn't sound like either of the goalposts really moved. But negotiations are continuing. We're kind of where the sticking points are or over how to pay for this and exactly what's in it. So, of course, we've heard Republicans saying that this is too broad. It needs to be more targeted to what they consider is traditional infrastructure, roads, bridges, broadband, and then not paying for it with tax increases. Instead, looking at things like electric vehicles, paying a usage tax on that, things of that nature. But moving forward, though, Democrats may not need Republicans. They could go that budget reconciliation route again, which is the same tool that they used in the Senate to pass the president's COVID relief bill that also had no Republican support. So you mentioned how to pay for this. How does the president plan to pay for the massive $2 trillion infrastructure plan? Yeah, the president keeps looking at different tax increases that he can put on some of the wealthiest Americans. So for this package specifically, he would look at um, the, the tax on corporations. And so he would essentially revert what the Trump administration did under their T um, tax plan back in 2017 and raise it again on corporations, which Republicans aren't wild about since that's kind of their signature accomplishment under the Trump administration. Yeah, obviously something we will continue to follow closely. Thank you so much for your coverage here. President Biden will visit Virginia on Monday to continue.